Today we're going to learn about the semi-rigid mystery that is Jell-O. First, bone, skin, and intestines from animals, usually cows and pigs, are processed to extract collagen. Collagen is a protein found in animals' tissues and bones, and once hydrolyzed, it becomes gelatin. The protein in gelatin consists of three amino acids weakly bonded together in a similar structure to DNA, differing in that there are three amino acids instead of two. These chains of amino acids can consist to up to several hundreds of individual amino acids. These weak intermolecular bonds are easily broken with heat. This destroys the original structure of the protein and in the case of Jell-O, the addition of boiling water breaks the weak intermolecular bonds and allows the amino acids to move freely throughout the water. The amino acids are now freely mixing and tangling throughout the liquid Jell-O solution, kind of like spaghetti. The amino acids at this point are very spread out throughout the solution, creating a loose continuous network of amino acids surrounding the water molecules. When we cool the jello, we are allowing the weak intermolecular bonds to reform. As the bonds reform, the amino acids trap and immobilize the water molecules, creating a solid dispersion. Unlike a starch, gelatin creates a clear and glassy dispersion. This is because the molecules are smaller and too spread out to block light waves. It's a colloid, of course. <laughs>